Now to South Africa, where some youth are getting high on an addictive new drug cocktail. The rising use of the new drug is threatening supplies of critical medicine needed by HIV patients. 33-year-old Lida Sitole has been smoking Wunga drugs for nearly four years. Sitole is unemployed and lives with his parents. He says it was easy for him to start smoking Wunga, but quitting is a challenge. I've been using Wunga drug for nearly four years now. I started using it due to peer pressure from my friends. We heard about this drug called Wunga and we decided to try it out. I had no idea it was this difficult to quit this drug. Police say Wunga is a relatively new drug that began to surface a few months ago in KwaZulu-Natal. Its use has spread to a few areas. Wunga is a mixture of marijuana and various substances, including at least one antiretroviral drug needed for AIDS treatment. Dr. Bright Mulongo works at an HIV AIDS clinic in Umlazi Township. Wunga is a drug, as it is known to us, it's a combination of, of marijuana, dacha, red poison, and a detergent. And you know that one of our ARVs is being used as a combination of that drug. Street users believe that lacing Wunga with powdered tablets of the antiretroviral efavirens or stocrins boosts its hallucinogenic properties. Police in South Africa disagree and say the ARVs have little effect. Nearly 6 million people in the country are infected with HIV. They face a new worry of being robbed of their life-prolonging medicine by drug gangs and youth like Sitole, who use the highly addictive marijuana cocktail. Sitole says he does not steal to get his drug. Sometimes there are people who steal, but we make our money by washing cars and make a few cents here and there. I'm not sure how other people in other sections get the money to buy this drug. But I assume that since this is a drug, crime is involved somehow. In townships in the eastern KwaZulu-Natal province, some HIV patients receiving the medication have been mugged and clinics robbed. Victims have mostly stayed silent, fearing if they report this to police, they will be exposed as infected with HIV. We strongly discourage that because we feel it directly threatens our success in the fight against HIV and AIDS. And it's one of the very important drugs in our base management, so we wouldn't like anything that threatens it. 19-year-old Sifesile Pakisa used to be addicted to Wonga. He has not been smoking for over a year. Should say the means are I used to do criminal activities such as household robbery so I can get money to smoke. And I would steal wherever just to get money for this drug. But as time went on, my friend came along and he pointed us at the right direction as young boys in the township and we worked together to quit this drug. As the government prepares to make antiretroviral drugs more widely available, authorities are trying to tighten security for ARV supplies and make patients aware of the risk of theft. And that's it for today, Dimiake. Thanks so much, Lino. We'll see you again on Thursday. Sure.